What's up guys, as you probably have heard, the jailbreak for iOS 6 beta has been released by the iPhone dev team in the form of Red Snow. This is for developers only, and really it's not so useful for most people up front because it doesn't install Cydia. So I'm gonna show you how to use Red Snow 0 0.9.13 dev one. Notice dev one, you can see my iPhone 4 is connected with 6.0. This only works with select devices, iPhone 4, 3GS, no A5 devices, so keep that in mind. First of all, select your IPS W, and then you want to just select your 6.0 IPSW. Once it successfully identifies it, click OK, go back, and then click jailbreak. It's going to go ahead and process all that information from the IPSW firmware, firmware file. Now you'll see this option, install SSH. Cydia not available on iOS 6 beta yet, so click next once that's checked and then you want to put your device into DFU mode. So again, this does not install Cydia. You only have AFC2 and SSH access, so keep that in mind. It is for advanced users. So you want to go ahead and put your device into DFU mode, hold home and power for 10 seconds, release home or the power button after 10 seconds, and then continue holding home. It'll go through and process. It'll exploit with Lime Rain. So this is just your standard jailbreak with Lime Rain for A4 devices. Nothing special here in particular. It's just compatible with the beta now. All right, so it's waiting for reboot. And in a second, we should see our little disk logo. There we go, downloading jailbreak data. And this will take a little while. Okay. So again, once we have completed that, you'll see the tethered jailbreak notification because this is a tethered jailbreak only. Once you're back to the screen, just go back one. We'll need to go and do a tethered boot in just a second, but you should see all this matrix, matrix mode information like that, installing bundles, rebooting. I've sped this up considerably just to get through it for you guys so you won't sit there and just looking at stuff scrolling by the whole day. But again, just to reiterate, no Cydia, although you are jailbroken. So let's head back to our computer here. You wanna select IPSW again, select your 6.0 firmware. Now we're gonna do a tethered boot. So just click just boot and then place your device in the DFU mode again. So to do our tethered boot, and this will allow you to use any jailbreak applications, et cetera, if you install one from the command line. You will have to install anything you wanna use directly from the command line. That is if you wanna install jailbreak apps or tweaks. Okay, we're in DFU mode now. It's patching the files and it should tether boot our device here, iPhone 4. So again, let's speed things up a bit to get through this portion. And let's head back over to our device. You see the pineapple logo indicating that the tether boot is taking place. And let's speed this up as well. And we should be back to our lock screen here momentarily. There we go. Okay, so we're now at our lock screen. Again, you're not gonna have any Cydia on here because again, this does not install Cydia. So what you need to do is find your IP address. Not there. <laughs> you wanna go to your Wi-Fi settings. And uh, why do I always do that? Tap the little blue arrow. Then you should see the IP address. In this instance, I am well, if you can see it, 10.0.1.27. So what you can do is you can use an SHH client on your computer to log in to your device. It's root and the password is Alpine, all lowercase. Then connect and then you should be connected to your device. There I am with root access on my iPhone 4. So that shows that I am indeed jailbroken. I can browse and peruse the entire native file structure with no problems whatsoever. And I can install apps if I wanna do, do so as well, directly from the command line. So I hope this was able to help you out if you're a developer. This is how you jailbreak your device if you're running iOS 6 beta. So maybe next time I'll come back with a tutorial if you guys want it to show you how to install tweaks and apps directly from the command line. I think I've showed you that before, but hey, a, a refresher wouldn't hurt, would it? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.